uh, Beowulf has killed Grendel. Uh, everybody's really happy, you know, uh, drinks all around and here come the medals. Yeah. <laughs> um, and at this point, the queen of the Danes, Welthgau, uh, comes forward and speaks to her husband. Now, her husband has a couple of hundred lines of four in the joy of his heart after the defeat of Grendel, um, said uh, he uh, is going to he doesn't use the word adopt because they hadn't got the word adopt yet, but he's going to treat him as a son. I will hold you as a son. And uh, the queen, of course, how does she react to that? Well, uh, here's her speech. Now, listen carefully. Uh, uh, she's talking to her husband. She's talking to her husband in public with everybody listening. Uh, so uh, things have to be said carefully. See what she says. See what she doesn't say. I'll give you the, well, no, I, uh, shall I give you the original text first? Sure. No, yeah. I, I, well, okay. Um, she says uh, in, in Anglo Saxon, on fo this and fuller, Freo Drichten mean, since Britta, though on Salem wears. Gold win a gumina on to Yatum Sprak, Mildum Wardum, Swashal Man Don. Bear with Yatas glad, Yovana Yumendi, Nan and Feran, thou do knew howest. May man cider that do they for Sunu Walder Hererinch Haban. Herot is your felsod, Bechsela Biochta, Brook Thenden the Motor, Manigra Medo, Ondino Margum Lef, Falcon Reacher, Thonu do forth Schiller. Meotershaft sound. I won't give you the rest of it, but I also stress the words which I think are grammatically important, and I'll have to explain that. Uh, anyway, here's, here's, here's my translation. Um, I'm not going to do it in a female voice, but because that would <laughs> sound silly. But uh, remember, this is a, 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 a queen talking to her husband in public on a moment at a moment of festivity. And she says, take this cup, my noble lord, gold friend of men, and to the Yats, speak kind words as is only right. Be generous to the Yats. Think of gifts for them, all that you have from far and near. Uh, I was told you wish to have the warrior as your son. Herot has been cleansed, the bright ring hall. Enjoy the praise of many as long as permitted to you and leave folk and kingdom to your own sons. When you must pass on and see destiny, I know my gracious Rothoff will honor the young ones. Anyway, I won't give you the rest of the speech, but um, it is clear, I think, it is clear, I think, though it wasn't clear for a long, long time because people didn't get it. It's yeah. clear that the queen is miffed. Yes. <laughs> and the reason she's miffed is because adopting a stranger uh, creates a challenger to her own sons. And the other thing that she is carefully not saying is when you die. And of course, it's stressed that her, her husband, Rothgar, is extremely old. Yeah. He's old, he's whitehead. He's not going to be with us much longer. So there is going to be a succession issue. Let's not make it any worse. Indeed, I can't help thinking that the word which is missing, and which, of course, I haven't put in, though I felt like it, is but. <laughs> she says, you know, enjoy the praise of many as long as permitted to you, but leave spoken <laughs> kingdom to your own sons when you must pass on and see destiny, which will be very soon. <laughs> well, uh, I added some bits there, as you probably right. know. Um, but, of course, she carefully doesn't say... Uh, when you die. And actually, the words I stressed are two modal verbs. I was sent off only once by the referee, and that was for giving him a lecture on modal verbs, uh, <laughs> and he didn't like it. There we go. Uh, um, she says then, um, 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 perhaps the important one is, uh, is um, leave to your kinsmen, folk and kingdom, Zona zu forth Schiller. Actually, the normal way of saying that would be Thona thou forth shalt, thou shalt, when you shall go forth and see destiny. But she doesn't say shalt. She says shilla. And that is a subjunctive, not an indicative. And a subjunctive is what you use when it's kind of hypothetical, mm -hmm. not happening, far off. 
So she says, you know, I, I, I can't translate that into modern English. It's something like uh, when perhaps in the course of time it may be that you, but that's too long, isn't it? But she says it again when she says, Brook sending zu motor. Zu motor. Well, normally that would be zu most um, mm. when you will be allowed to. Uh, but she says, uh, so Brook sending the motor. What did I say? Um, um, enjoy the praise of many as long as permitted to you um yes as long as maybe will be as long as we hope will be permit you know it's mm -hmm. all far off. but uh, but uh, the, it's qu quite clear that uh, three times she says when you die but mm -hmm. she doesn't say when you die yeah. she avoids saying when you die but that's what she means this is the thing that she doesn't say the other thing and i i cut this bit of the uh, the speech out but having told him she doesn't want beowulf as a challenger to her own children get it uh, she then uh, turns around and talks to the other guy up there who is the king's nephew and co-regent at the time seems to be associated with him in ruling the place and he is obviously a threat mm. because he's in his prime um he's got you know he's got the backing uh and then and she says twice you know i know jolly nice chap he'll look after our children um if you die before him which of course you're going to uh, <laughs> and i know he'd be really good as long as he remember if he remembers all the things we've done for him mm. well the first if if you um uh if it should happen that you leave the world before he should do so uh yes that's going to happen yeah. but uh he, if he remembers the favors we have done to honor and please him while he was a child, maybe that's not going to happen. Mm. So the two ifs are, well, pointing in different directions, but she doesn't want them to. Together. Well, we've got three competitors, you might say. Wealthy has two sons who haven't appeared yet, but they will in a moment, and Beowulf, yeah, and Hrothulf. And the fact is that uh, perhaps a surprising thing in the poem, which has not been hinted at before, is that she switches from Beowulf to Hrothulf. And the only connection between the two of them is she sees them both as a danger. Mm. But Beowulf isn't, but Hrothulf is. Okay. Story behind that, which we think we've figured out, but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't say it. Uh, the poem doesn't say it. You've got to yeah. figure it out. Right. Well, that's, 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 that's my, my, my saying about, about Beowulf. It's, it's a plumbing difficult work. Yeah. Um, 